Why America is Bankrupt U.S. reaches $144 million settlement with Texas church shooting victims. As soon as I saw this headline, I wondered, who is it in the United States that is responsible for these shooting victims? Wednesday's settlement was approved by U.S. District Judge Xavier Rodriguez in San Antonio. The shooter died of a self-inflicted gunshot to the head after a police chase. Wait a minute. So the shooter is not liable for this $144 million judgment. He received his justice that day. He's dead. Why is it that the American citizen, the U.S. taxpayer, has to pay this penalty? We didn't shoot these people. What are they talking about? The judge found the U.S. Air Force responsible over its failure to enter this guy in a database used for background checks prior to firearms purchases. So that means if this guy had simply gone to Craigslist or met someone in person and bought a firearm illegally, does that mean the U.S. obligation for this penalty would be zero? So the difference is it's zero if he got the gun as a Saturday night special, which Leonard Skinner wrote a song about, but because he went through a legitimate dealer, it's $144 million. The person at the United States Air Force who was supposed to enter this information into a no-purchase database, that airman was probably making less than minimum wage. So the penalty for that is the rest of us have to pay $144 million? Why? I personally sympathize with the survivors of these victims. I believe each of them is entitled to $144 million each. But why is the U.S. taxpayer being punished for something they did not do? This is where Merrick Garland's Department of Justice comes in. According to Associate Attorney General Vanita Gupta, Today's announcement brings the litigation to a close, ending a painful chapter for the victims of this unthinkable crime. Well, Vanita Gupta, what about the victims of you reaching into our pocket for $144 million? It's almost like the U.S. government thinks there's a magical money tree where money like this comes from. How are we ever going to pay off the national debt with idiotic government decisions like this? Imagine if the law was handled the same way during the Revolutionary War. General Benedict Arnold betrayed the American forces of George Washington and sided with Great Britain. Imagine if all of the people who were victims of Benedict Arnold's treachery, then sued President George Washington for damages. They should have had a massive $100,000 penalty for George Washington because of the mistake in trusting Benedict Arnold. That's how ludicrous this is. Our nation will never recover from the bad economic decisions if people keep voting stupid people like this into office. Thank you.